Hey guys, so I've discovered something at Walmart the other day, actually a few months ago. I actually got one of these as a Christmas present, so I thought I had to share these with you. So give me just a few secs. Okay, so a few months ago, I actually noticed some of these crates. I thought it was really, really cool, because, for example, Harry Potter. I'm actually thinking about getting it. It says you get a beanie, a notebook, a squishy, and so forth. And I thought, cool, Walmart's getting on the loot crate train. However, if you guys look at this one, these look awfully familiar. And then, look at that. Ah! So what was that? So like I said in the video, the really short video before the intro, I found this a few months ago and was really kind of excited. Now, I used to sell those little wax melter things where you melt the wax and it makes the room smell. And I was really thought they were really cool. And then Walmart started selling them, which is what they do. They find a cool thing and then they make something and make it slightly cheaper. And then you can't really sell anything anymore because Walmart sells it cheaper. Well, so I just figured Walmart's making their own Loot Crate type, you know, subscription box. There's a whole bunch of different ones. Why shouldn't Walmart just get on the bandwagon since everybody else is doing it too? And then I was in recently looking at the little Funko figures and saw these ones and I'm like, wait a minute. Those are my magnets. I know I got those and I know which crate I got them in. And then we found the Out of the World crate and I'm like, wait. That's the Godzilla. And wait, isn't that this figure? Which is a Loot Crate specific. This is a Loot Craft original, a Loot Craft exclusive. But somehow Walmart's selling it. How is it a Loot Crate exclusive if Walmart's selling it? And so I'm trying to figure out, did they like decide to buy a whole bunch of the vault and are creating their own is this a loot crate product that you can now get at walmart now i didn't buy any of them because they are 20 bucks and i'm already spending 20 bucks a month so i guess if you ever miss any loot crate you can go to walmart now and get a repackaged version which is kind of cool but it's also kind of weird like why is it there <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll have to let you guys know how this turns out. Um, like I said, I bought one for a Christmas present, so I'm going to see how that turns out and what happens. Um, you guys saw there was definitely a uh, Club Merc one. There was, I'm wondering if the Harry Potter stuff is stuff that's come up in the Wizarding World crate. Um, and it's just funky to see. Like, you could go to Walmart now and find geek stuff, which is just really weird for me. Um, for some of y'all that are younger, you may not remember, it used to be really hard to find geek stuff, and it's like, merch is everywhere now, and it's just weird, it, at least for me, it used to be really hard to find things like Funko Pop figures, and now, Walmart. So I guess they're just getting more and more popular, which is super cool. So what do you guys think? Walmart jumping on the bandwagon of not subscri subscription crates, but basically subscription crates. Um, it's all the same stuff. You just go and get it at Walmart. It seems kind of weird because you're almost picking knowing what you're going to get, which kind of takes the fun out of Loot Crate almost. I mean, you guys have probably heard me talk about it on a few th few of these that sometimes it's just not your fandom and it's cool but it's just not you and so that kind of makes that month a letdown kind of like you guys just saw last week with the August crate that just wasn't me and sadly the biggest piece of that crate was something that I had no interest in and I guess this kind of cuts out that middleman but at the same time like 
this is one of my favorite pieces and I don't know if I'd ever would have bought it just if I had seen it beforehand. This was one of the mystery ones from I forget if he was Invaders or something else. But it was one of those things where would I have gotten this piece if I had known it was in that box? And I've had a number of these things where I love the key ring from um, American Horror Story. Now, I don't watch American Horror Story, and I'm not really part of that fandom, but that piece is amazing. And so I feel like this would cut out some of the joy that comes with discovering a new fandom while you're being introduced to it by just getting something that you wouldn't normally get. So I don't know. I guess on the other side, if you do skip a crate or decide to skip a crate, you can always find it later. But I guess that's what I always assumed the loot vault was for. So how does that work now if they're selling out stuff they have extra of? Is it stuff that's just been stocked up? Is it stuff that didn't sell during the sales? Because, like, he was in a crate, and I can't imagine why he was in, not bought up but now they have a whole bunch of these and again well I guess this is from a specific company so it's not a loot crate exclusive but now you can get him at Walmart but why get him at Walmart when you can already get them on Amazon I don't think it's any cheaper I guess theoretically I did see in the Harry Potter crate that there is a mystery item in there so I guess you might be getting something you wouldn't necessarily know but that's still one item out of eight. So, uh, so I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. It was just a little weird, especially given that I live in a rare, very, very rural area of Pennsylvania on the East Coast. So it seems especially weird to me that being so far from a major city, we're getting stuff like this at Walmart. So I don't know if this is going to be a continuous thing. I know they've tried different things. Um, one of these days I'm going to do a whole series on my, um, my My Little Pony collection over there. Um, which were mostly mystery bag figures that um, I got at Walmart. But recently, especially with the last movie coming out, I would have thought it would have lasted longer. But I can't find them anymore. So I don't know if... And they try different ones, and I'm trying to see why certain things last longer than others, and why you can find things certain times, and other times they seem to disappear off the face of the planet. So that is briefly what I'm covering this week. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I love reading comments. I hope you guys really enjoyed those bow truckles. Those were my favorite so far. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and share so people can come and visit us and see what we're all about. And I will see you guys next Fandom Friday. Bye!